What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Goblin, and today we're coming in with an ancient classic, a true OG hoot and holler. Today we're coming in with the first time smoking weed. Now listen, I know some of you guys are going to already be like, Goblin, dude, I've seen this. Listen, this video is almost six years old now. The original was terrible, quite honestly. I was so bad at telling stories when the original came out. I rewatched it the other day, and I said, this story did not get justice. We're going to do it bigger. We're going to do it better. So we are remaking the OG story. This was originally uploaded in May of 2015. So this story is going on about five and a half years old. Let's make it better. Hey, thank you guys for tuning in. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We're super close to 300K. Even if you hate me, just smash the sub button on new years you can unsub i just really want 300k before new years please smack that sub button i appreciate it also get your goblin merch merch now baby I, I said nurch dude i'm tweaking bro get your goblin merch now baby listen it's beautiful it's quality it's not expensive it, it's just the best merch in the universe even just checking out the website helps even if you have no intent of buying any just go take a gander take a little peek if you will i appreciate it links at the very top of the description as well as in the comments thank you guys for tuning in let's dive right into it so my first time smoking weed now this took place a very long time ago. In fact, this took place all the way back in... It might have even been like 2014, actually, now that I think about it. And I was kind of a late bloomer with smoking. You know, a lot of you guys out there, you probably started smoking when you were really young. You know, when I tell people when I started smoking, I, I usually get a reaction of like, oh, you were pretty late. Or like, oh, that's later than I expected with you. I started when I was like 15, you know, so I, I wasn't like super early to the party. I have a lot of homies who have been smoking since they were like 13 and shit, you know, even younger than that. Some of them. I think Cody's been smoking since he was like 10 or some shit. <laughs> like no, no joke, but that's for, that's for a different day. So either way. On this fateful day, I link up with a buddy of mine named Hassan, and he was a, a friend of mine at the time who he had never smoked as well. Neither of us had ever smoked before. And prior to this day, you know, we'd recently become friends with who is now a very common character in my stories, Bobby, right? I'd recently become friends with Bob, and he'd introduced me to Sam and Ron, who are the homies from my recent uh, boating story, if you guys watched that video, right? The, the smoking weed and tweaking out video. Uh, these, these were the guys who I actually smoked for the first time with, right? So I linked up with Hassan, and Bob hits me up, and he asks if I want to kick it. Of course I say yes, because I'd just become friends with him, and I was looking for something to do. So Hassan and I, we speed our asses over, and we get over to Ron's house, right? So we're chilling at Ron's house, you know, and he's got his big old sick SUV parked out front, you know, his dad's big old car that we were going to use for the day, and everyone's chilling in his basement, right? We're hanging out, we're having a hoop, and we realized very quickly, Hassan and I realized as we get there, that we're smoking today. We didn't realize that that was the plan. We'd never smoked. This is one of the first times hanging out with Bob, and up to this point, we'd only drank together. But I get there and realize that these boys got some loud out on the table. So they got their cush out on the table, you know, and I'm sitting there, and we're discussing what we're going to do. And Bob's like, oh yeah, we're probably going to go smoke this blunt in a minute, you know? And Bob didn't realize at first that I'd never smoked. So I told him, I was like, Bob, like, Yo, I've never smoked, you know, like I've never, I've never, like I'm down, but I've never done this. And he was like, you've never smoked, dude? Like, are you serious? And I was like, yeah, like this is, this is about to be my first time, my dude. So, of course, he's all giddy about it at this point. Everyone there is. Sam, Bob, Ron, they're all hype about it. Sam comes over and sits with me and he's telling me how to inhale. He's like, listen, when you hit the blunt, you're going to want to inhale. Then you're going to want to hold it. And then you're going to want to exhale. You know, and he's like giving me like the motions. I'm just like, okay, for sure. I got you. I got you. You know, I'm sitting here taking mental notes and shit. Hassan, on the other hand, is nervous about it. He's kind of hesitant. He's like, oh, like... Am I going to smell like it? He's asking all these questions and she's like, oh, am I going to, am I going to, how am I going to feel? Am I going to smell like it? And he's kind of tweaking out. I personally was really excited. So we all hop into Ron's ride, which was his dad's car, of course. And we whip over to this neighborhood that had like this little forest preserve kind of attached to it, right? It was a really nice neighborhood, you know, big, big houses. And it literally just like at the, at the dead end of one of the roads, it just led into a for like this huge forest preserve. It was pretty bad. Ass. And hey, hey, 
big bands to live in this neighborhood. Hey, if your neighborhood has a goddamn forest preserve attached to it, that's when you know you've made it, all right? You got some racks going, okay? But either way, we park up right at this dead end, you know, about maybe like 10 or 20 feet down from the last house on the dead end, right? We hop out of the car. No, we didn't hop out yet. Uh, let me let me back, you know, take a step back here real quick. Uh, first, we had to roll the blunts, right? So we're chilling uh, in Ron's car, and of course he's got a big-ass car. So, of course, Bob and Ron each roll up a blunt. They needed two blunts because there was five heads on this sesh, even though myself and Hassan only needed a couple hits. I took more than a couple, but we'll get to that. So they roll up their two blunts, and all the while, Sam's in back with us, kind of coaching us. You know, he's like, all right, boys, listen, it's your first time smoking. This is, you know, this is the procedure. And I'm sitting there total amateur, dude. I'm pretty excited. I'm kind of nervous, but mostly just excited. You know, I was like, hey, everyone smokes. You know, what's the worst that can happen? I'm pretty hype, you know? And I'd been drunk before, so I was like, dude, it's not going to be as intense as being drunk. It's just some weed. So whatever, let's figure it out, you know? So we roll up these blunts and we get out of the car and we start our walk through the forest preserve. And Hassan is just tweaking because the sun isn't all the way down. And he's looking all around and he's like, yo, are you are you sure no one's going to see us doing this? He's really nervous. He's freaking out. And I'm not going to lie, I was too, you know, I I wasn't saying anything, but deep down on the inside, like I'd never smoked before. And here we are out in broad daylight, walking through a forest preserve in a wealthy area, smoking some stank, you know, I was kind of sitting there having thoughts like, oh, dude, like, what if someone catches us? You know, as you smoke more, you come to realize no one fucking cares except for the forest ranger. No one gives a shit. The only guy who gives a shit gets paid to give a shit. Okay. If they're not getting paid to care, they don't. All right. That's the moral of the story. But at the time I'm thinking like, holy shit, dude, I'm, s- I'm smoking za. I'm smoking kush. dude. like, this is bad. Right? So we spark up the first blunt and it gets going around. And it gets over to Hassan first. And Sam's telling Hassan how to hit it. And Hassan takes the tiniest little hit and just starts coughing a fucking lung up. And they're trying to get him to take another hit. He refuses and passes it to me, right? So now I grab it and I've got this blunt. And Sam's sitting there and he's like, all right, just tuck your lips in so you don't get it wet. You know, he was was teaching me how to tuck my lips. And then he was like, okay, now what you want to do is just inhale. And then after you hit it, take it away from your mouth and then inhale again. So do like a double hit. Like I, how he taught me is like, I hold it up, go like a, then I take it away from my mouth and I do another to really, you know, get it down in my lungs. That's what he taught me. So as soon as I did that, I started coughing up a fucking lung, dude. At this point, I think I'd smoked a couple cigarettes before, but I don't know. Just getting that deep lung hit off my first blunt just annihilated me, dude. I couldn't fucking breathe, dude. My eyes were watering. I was like, holy shit, what the hell's going on here, right? So I passed that shit over Sam, and he, you know, he's kind of patting me on the back. He's like, there you go, my dude. And as soon as I take that hit, I remember just getting this very almost like lightheaded feeling. What was kind of interesting is, I don't know if this is an experience you guys have, but I know myself and some of my friends have said this. uh, I didn't get that high my first time, right? My first time smoking, I didn't get all that stoned. It was actually my second time smoking that I got fucking blasted. I got truly stoned. You know, my first time, I felt different, but I wasn't really high, I don't think. And I I wonder why that is. Like, is there any science behind why that happens? Any of y'all motherfucking pharmacists or some shit in my comments pulling up every video? Hey, pull up on this one, man. Hey, drop some knowledge for everyone. But either way, I take this hit and I pass it off and I immediately just feel this kind of I don't know what it is. This almost like a, like this wave go through my body. It's really hard to describe how it felt getting high for the first time. A, because it happened so long ago, but I still kind of remember that feeling. You always do, you know? You always do. It, like, there's no forgetting that first hit, you know? So, I smack that blunt and I just feel this instant kind of like, I don't know, almost like looseness, you know? I almost felt like I just turned into like a jello man, you know? And I was like, okay. I'm kind of feeling this, you know, like this is nice. And my face just felt fucking heavy as hell, dude. I'm talking, my face felt like I had a dumbbell attached to each of my ears, each of my fucking nostrils, each of my fucking eyelids. Holy shit, my face felt heavy. But I was kind of enjoying myself. So the blunt goes around and it gets back to me. And by the time it gets back to me again, the second blunt gets sparked up. And I'm like, holy shit, these guys are smoking another one. Hassan takes another hit of the blunt that got back to me and then he taps. He tries to tap. Keyword tries. We don't let him, but he tries, right? Passes it to me. 
I hit it two more times. Sam's gassing me up. Sam was really my my like my my yes man, my wing man, my hype man for this. When he was like, "Go, dude, smack that shit," I hit it twice. That two piece hit, not big hits, of course, but I hit that bad boy twice. And man, I was feeling good about myself. I felt like a king. I was like, "Boys, I'm smoking weed. This is sick, dude." I I watched movies about this. You know, like this is crazy. So. We're walking and we're smoking these blunts and I'm plenty fucking high. I get to the point where I can't fathom being any higher. So I'm like, yo, I'm chilling, man. You know, imagine that me tapping out before a blunt's even done, dude. What on earth happened? Dude, what a time. What a time. Yeah. But either way. So I, I, it gets around to me like one more time. I think, I think I took a total of probably four or five hits or so, give or take. I was feeling nice, dude. I was feeling really good, but it got to the point where I just, I didn't really want to like hit it anymore. You know, like I was cool with how I felt. So I was like, all right, I'm good. Hassan, on the other hand, was starting to tweak the fuck out. As they were smoking these blunts, Hassan, it just keeps spinning around and like smacking his shoulders, you know? And he's like, yo, dude, there's a spider on me or some shit. And he comes up to Bob and he's like, yo, dude, can you check if there's a spider on me? And he's just spinning around all frantic, smacking his shoulders, tweaking out of his mind. And Bob's like, yo, chill, dude. You got to calm down. Hassan and Hassan is just out of his fucking, just losing his marbles, dude. I'm talking absolutely going cuckoo. It looks like someone just poured a vat of acid on the guy, dude. Like, he's just spinning around, flailing his arms, going ballistic, and I'm even trying to calm him down. I'm like, bro, why are you tweaking? Like, I just smoked for the first time, too. Like, I'm fine. Like, we're fine, dude. Like, chill out. So eventually, he kind of slows down with the spider thing, and he just starts telling us that he wants to go back to the car. You know, he was not having a great time at all, you know? He was actually having a really shit time. But we keep walking because, the you know, the second blunt was still going. And as we're walking... We see, we heard a dog bark first, and we didn't think a ton of it. We heard the dog bark, and we were like, whatever, dude, it's a forest preserve, like, people walk dogs. Hassan tweaked about it, though. Hassan was like, oh, dude, it's a fucking police dog, bro. Like, they smell us, dude. They brought the, like, the canine smells us, you know? He's tweaking out of his mind. He really thinks they sent the canine unit on the forest preserve for our fucking one gram, you know? For our, our one G of Kush on five heads. They sent the boys in, you know? But... He might have been right because shortly after he made that comment, we kind of all, you know, almost nod, almost brushed it off. We saw a light and it was in the direction that we were headed. And it looked like someone was like holding a flashlight, but it was weird because it wasn't dark yet. There was no reason for anyone to have that bright of a flashlight. We couldn't make out who was holding it, but they were coming towards us and we were tweaking and all stone and we didn't want to find out. So we turned around and just booked it dude we flew back to ron's car i'm talking expeditiously we hit the jets dude hassan was just screaming the whole time he was like yo we gotta go he's like the cops and we're all fucking running i remember looking over to sam and i'm like sam bro like is it the cops he's like i don't fucking know dude so we're just we fly back to ron's car and we all dive in that shit he turns it on quick as hell we're all sweaty we're all fucking out of breath and we spin Speed out of there, dude. We hit the U on that dead end, and we skedaddle out of there, bro. And I was still feeling really nice, you know? I wasn't really stoned. It was more of like a, a very mellow kind of kind of body feeling. I was just feeling like a very relaxed, jello-y kind of go-with-the-flow feeling. But I wasn't truly stoned out of my mind with the giggles and the red eyes until my second time getting stoned, actually. Which, if that's ever happened to you guys, let me know in the comment section below, dude. Did y'all get high on your first time or not? Because me, I kind of did, but I kind of didn't. But hey, there's the story of my first time smoking weed. Hey, we, we had to improve upon it. It's been almost six years. We had to do it better. Thank you guys for showing love. Thank you guys for tuning into this one. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, gamers.